This made me want a career in radio seeing this video. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I just, do you want a hashtag hen selfie? We're here in Brum Radio and Greg James and Chris Smith have just told us about their amazing new book, Kid Normal, which is actually out of reach. It's on the floor. Greg's got it. Buy it now. But we thought what we'd do is kind of have a look um, just to really emphasise the point about this book. And the way that cross-medium support often works, radio to video has been a big part of the history of Radio 1 and this kind of started around the late noughties. But I think a lot of people might not have seen the older Radio 1 YouTube videos, some of which are really, really interesting and amazing. Even embarrassing. Well, we'll find out because what I've got now is five old Radio 1 YouTube videos for Greg James and Chris Smith to react to. Starting out with uh, Greg James dropping a stick stink bomb at BBC Newsbeat. In a second, I'll play Calvin Harris and... It's like I'm on helium. Now, though, it's just gone 6.30. Time Bond. for some entertainment news with Chris. Yeah, what Greg's not telling you is that he's just run into the Newsbeat office and let a stink bomb off. But we're going to do the entertainment news anyway because we fear for our jobs. Last night, we told you the shock news... I've just set a stink bomb off down there. I've hidden it by the speaker. <laughs> if, you look, if you look down, there's a little cup by the suitcase. I've hidden it there. One. Well, the Wombats also played, and as some of you have noticed on the text today, they did indeed... So how impromptu was that? Because I feel that the early days of visualisation were very much you kind of messing about with a camera, trying to work out a way you can link this to radio. Oh, look at us, all fresh-faced. And now you're jaded by careers. No, not at all. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> so funny looking at this because we've been friends for ages. What are your memories of this stink pop? Well, I remember, it's just nice seeing the old studios in a nerdy way. It's the olding house, so it's good to see the old Newsbeat workshop. Yeah. And why is there a cow in the back? Good question. I'm That's sure lost in the history of time. Yeah. yeah. It's the news cow. Of course it's the news cow. Um, but, um... Moose beats. Moose beats. I'll let you choose out of the next two. I have either Keith Lemon's House Invasion of Greg, which I think was amazing, or Chris Smith's Cock. This one. This, this one. So, you know this one. I love this video so much. Eddie, please place the hen on Chris Smith's head. I'm just going to don the hen. <laughs> this made me want a career in radio seeing this video. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I just, do you want a hashtag hen selfie that you can share on Twitter? Please do a hen selfie. Right, hang on. This is a hen selfie. <laughs> Cockhead. <laughs> it's, what Very much sure. it's, what we, it's what we couldn't it's say. Oh, but now you're at school. <laughs> be taken. Are you ready for the entertainment news? <laughs> yes. Impressive. Still managed to do that. So, Jordan from Rizzle Kicks is trying something a bit different, Greg. E4 have announced that he's landed a role in their new eight part drama called Glue. Jordan's on set filming as we speak. It focuses on a sleepy English countryside village and how the lives of the people living there change. Written by the people behind Skins, and this is England. It'll be on our screens this autumn. How was it to have a. It was a hen, not a cock as well. Yeah. But you, you have to take a liberty. What was that like, Chris, reading the news? Um, I mean, incredible, obviously. Um, slightly, I mean, a bit surreal. It's, a bit, it's, it's not something that's happened to me frequently in the months and years since then. Um, but um, amazing. I think hashtag hen selfie was... Get it, Twitter. Get it trending again. Uh, the next one, very, very early days of visualisation. You might be surprised about this one, Greg, but I think it's brilliant. Oh, yeah, one. good game this. I've got cup of water game this is. It's a stupid one. It involves putting a paper cup. It's got water in it. Once a month. Yeah, I see a very young producer shortly. Have you ever seen this before? Yeah. Put a cup of water and just leave it on someone's head. See what they do. It's called Ian. Yeah. <laughs> very stripy jumper. And a wacky jumper. <laughs> Five years old, doesn't he? He has a kind of Harry Potter vibe going on, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the kind of early Radio 1 YouTube video, yeah. so it's, and people don't see that journey because it, it's so polished and so tight now, but you have to kind of work out how to do that. that but that's funny. That, it, it is funny. It's though. all come round again, yeah. because now it's actually, people don't want polished They want stuff. smartphones. They want that. That's basically an Instagram video. The real strength of social media and what, what makes videos like, you know, really kind of interesting for a radio audience and shareable is seeing a little bit behind the scenes and that these are normal people that like dicking about, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think you're right. Although 
the polished video is a lovely and it's very good, but I think you've also got to have that element of what's it like inside a radio station, you know, which is certainly what I've always wanted to see. It might be just because I'm a bit of a nerd. That's um, about 10 years old and just yeah. proof that I've been annoying for at least 10 years. <laughs> well, do you want to guess how old the next one is, Greg? We're going so far back into the past. I'm not sure if you'll have seen this video because it just pops up on my recommendations because we were looking for stuff to show you guys for this feature. And this just absolutely amazed me. Um, and my friend really enjoyed it too. So have a see what you think of this. 20 year old Greg uh, was a bright student, a bright and happy young man. Oh, yeah, he this is from university. made his friends this laugh. My friend he made everyone around him laugh. He brought a ray of sunshine into everyone's lives whom he met. He made himself laugh. Makes himself laugh as well. Now, after a few months, maybe even just two, of this drama outreach project. Look what's become of him. Sensitive viewers might want to look away. Hi. How are you, Greg? Yeah. Look at me. God. It's some sort of community outreach. Your estate. I don't know what, I want to know what's on there. Your estate. I know. It's afraid to have it. It, yeah. Fair trade. That's yeah. We're, we're, we're doing a. Got a sticker from a banana on your head. We're doing an outreach project. He's got a banana, banana as well. Banana. This is where we were going mad doing a production, oh. and we had to paint the set and do all the everything. <laughs> we were doing this whole thing about fair trade, out. and we just got That's so sick of it. <laughs> like a good. <laughs> so strange watching this yeah. crunchy banana. Listen. Sorry. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> you can just really hear the crunchy film. banana. So there you go. Very strange. Greg video. James' origin story. And it links into superheroes. There you go. That's your like or origin <laughs> story. Origin. So the other one I want to show you was just the um, Keith Lemon house invasion. This one, I think... You see there's like a little monitor. I was amazed when I saw this because you genuinely look shocked. Yeah. If you watch that now... And oh, my God. And who's that? Keith Lemon. <laughs> what is he doing at my I'm flat? at this house, number, at number two. I'm at number two. Yes. Now, um, if you're watching the, the right website, place. yeah, yeah, I think you are, yeah. Place, yes, but, okay. Keith yeah. Lemon is at your house. Why the? Why is he at my? House? <laughs> why? Why? Why is he at my house? Hey, language. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let's get in the bed. Let's get in the bed. <laughs> in the bed. Oh, he's in your bed. So Keith horrible. In your bed. They put a load of yes, planted stuff as well, so didn't they? Like in the. Cup. How did they do that? How did they get into your house, Greg? Uh... I think my girlfriend at the time gave gave them my keys. Oh. Yeah. Or gave them her set of keys. <laughs> that's why she's no longer your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, so it was a reason. Well, there you go. There's a bombshell. Chris, have you seen this? Have you got any thoughts on it? Um, I uh, didn't know Greg that well at that time, and I don't think I'd ever been around your flat, so, you know, it was just nice to see you. Yeah, nice tour. Yeah, just nice to have a little tour around. Radio 1 origin story. Greg James Chris Smith, thank you very much. Thank I hope you. the cringe that's hasn't got very high. Sort of harrowing. But, also but you... <laughs> harrowing and intense. Well, that's... Be proud of I feel like... You, um, your past, and you don't have any dignity left in radio anyway, do you? I've, I've already lost it all, so <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys, and best of luck with Tim, the book. Thank you, thank you, cheers. cheers.